What's going on guys? Welcome to Everything Always. My name's Michael Roman, AKA All Fires. Now, if you missed our video from earlier in the week, we are already starting to get the earliest scoops about the X-Men MCU reboot. And between that, X-Men 97 going live on Disney Plus and absolutely killing it. And of course, Deadpool and Wolverine getting closer and closer with all the X-Men cameos we expect. It really feels like the X-Men are back in prominence at Marvel Studios. And if you're a true comic fan, that is an amazing thing. Now, speaking of Deadpool and Wolverine, we have an update today about when to expect the next trailer and unfortunately it is a lot further out than we were hoping for we also have some brand new industry insider details which we will issue the lightest of spoiler warnings as far as what's going on with the villain cassandra nova and a specific detail that involves magneto we're breaking it all down the latest release date revealed for the upcoming second deadpool and wolverine trailer plus some industry insider details for the film but first if you could grab the subscribe button we do daily marvel content at this channel and that's all we do everything from official easter egg breakdown trailers and reviews to the occasional industry insider report and everything in between so if that sort of things for you hit the subscribe button leave a comment down below that will automatically enter you to win our ongoing ps5 giveaway the next one is right around the corner to coincide with the finale of x-men 97 and in fact we just announced a brand new ps5 winner in our last video make sure to check back for that in the meantime if you want to be entered to win all you got to do be a sub leave a comment and if you want stick around to the end of the video we get into all the giveaway stuff again there okay so today's update about when the second deadpool and wolverine trailer is going to drop actually actually comes from a source that we don't report on too often at the channel, but that definitely has a proven track record, pun totally intended, and that's Trailer Track, where they've been updating us on this kind of thing and for almost a decade. Today, they revealed publicly on Twitter that, quote, right now, the next trailer for Deadpool and Wolverine is aimed for early May. So take that as you will, but unfortunately, that means we have another six to eight weeks at a minimum before they're going to drop the trailer. And to be totally fair, not only does it make sense for them to hold the second trailer till a little bit closer to a film dropping in July, but there is another huge thing going on in the beginning of May, and that would be the finale of X-Men 97 on May 15th. And if you had to guess, you would think that they're going to drop the trailer for Deadpool and Wolverine, or at least the second one, in close proximity to when the finale of X-Men 97 will be going down, because, well, all eyes on them. And I think there's probably a good chance that those are going to correspond at least somewhat maybe within the same week. So be looking towards the middle of May between May 8th, the penultimate episode and May 15th, the finale for when they're probably going to drop it. Now for the rest of this video and ironically, we're going to jump over to a different source, but the place where we normally get our trailer news and that's from cryptic HD quality over on Twitter, who over the last say two weeks has had a collection of details about Deadpool and Wolverine that he shared. I will issue the lightest of spoiler warning now in case you want to go into the unknown not knowing or go into this kind of stuff that may be spoilery, now would be the time to back out. Okay, so first we'll start off with what he said about Cassandra Nova and Deadpool and Wolverine. Quote, One of the things mentioned to help fight against Cassandra's telepathy is Magneto's helmet, but unfortunately she's already got it, which is not good news for her Magneto cameo in the film, basically because if she has his helmet, I take that to mean she may have already offed him. He goes on to say, also, quote, Cassandra Nova stays faithful and true to the source material. She's evil and twisted, a serious nutcase of a villain. She has no regards for life and is a very formidable adversary. Now, the next detail he added was about Wolverine, and it's important to note that we've had several variants of Wolverine revealed in the last couple of weeks and by different sources. This update is about the one that wears the yellow and blue costume, where he said, quote, Wolverine wears the suit not because he has to, but because he has a symbolic attachment to it. It's a link to the past that he claims on to, which also does not spell well for his X-Men team if he's still clinging on to it and he's no longer with them, there's a good chance that they're gone, which may have come at the hands of said villain in Cassandra Nova. Now the last detail has to do with the runtime and the current cut of Deadpool and Wolverine where he said this, quote, so I'm hearing that some of the things have been put aside and aren't in the current cut of Deadpool and Wolverine. So far, they are very pleased with what they currently have and will be adding on in time. Currently, Deadpool and Wolverine sits just a bit over two hours other runtimes floating around are false. And I should mention guys, and for the record, outside of someone say like Daniel RPK, whose track record speaks for itself, Cryptic HD quality is one of the most trusted and one of the most accurate industry insider sources, especially coming on the scene as strong as they have in the last year or so. Again, you can follow them over on Twitter at Cryptic 4K Qual. But you guys let me know all your thoughts down below, how hype you are for your upcoming second trailer for Deadpool and Wolverine, and what you most specifically wanna see. I'm more interested in seeing if there's gonna be any 
MCU characters and during this film, but I do like the fact that they haven't revealed much at all, and if you think about it, even for as many details as we already know about Deadpool and Wolverine, we still don't have a really good beat on exactly what's going to happen or where the whole film is going to take place, and I don't suspect, because we saw at the end of the trailer that they were in the void, that's even really where the third act is, but I might be wrong. You guys let me know all your thoughts down below quickly. Let's get into the giveaway stuff before I let you go. All right, guys, we just announced a brand new winner for our PS5 giveaway for the beginning of X-Men 97 in last night's video on Franklin Richards and the Fantastic Four. I'll make sure to link it at the end of this. In the meantime, the next PS5 giveaway is right around the corner with the finale of X-Men 97. Again, that'll be live on May 15th. We'll throw it in the Easter egg video that'll probably up the morning of the 16th. If you wanna be entered to win, or for any of the other giveaways here at the channel, all the same rules will always apply. It's super simple. Hit the subscribe button because you need to be a subscriber. Then leave a comment down below because it's truly random. The more videos you comment on, the better chance you have of winning. All winners will be announced at the end of videos, the same way we're doing here. The best way to keep up with the content has always been to hit the notification bell with all notifications turned on. And as always, if you liked today's video, I'd appreciate it if you'd hit the like button. Guys, remember to stay safe and vigilant on YouTube as a platform and really anywhere on social media. Remember that anybody can take a content creator's photo, claim to be them, and they spam the comments looking for people who are willing to pay for shipping for a prize that doesn't exist. And while they've left my YouTube channel alone and for quite some time now, they've actually been targeting some of my friends channels and I just want to throw it out there as a PSA for everybody guys if you should get a comment like that ever just remember no one is telling you you've won in the comments no one is ever going to charge you for shipping and it is definitely a spammer so while well, you can go ahead and tell the content creator it's happening it's just easier to report those specific comments directly to YouTube they go ahead and delete the account and then you're doing everybody on YouTube a huge service because not only is it deleting the comment for you and helping the content creator out but everywhere they've commented across the platform all those comments disappear at once when the account is banned just a quick heads up again it hasn't really happened here and in years but they are still on the platform and I just want everybody to be safe my name is Michael Roman you can find me in a couple of places, Instagram and Twitter at I'm Fires. You can also find me on Spotify, YouTube, Amazon, Apple, iTunes, wherever you listen to original music under the name All Fires. And while I sincerely appreciate you that have checked my music out and supported me there, thanks for checking this channel out. Stick around. We'll be reporting again real, real soon.